I'm Richard Petty. In almost 30 years of Grand National Racing, I finished first 200 times. Each time I do, it's a high that's hard to describe, but it's a natural high, something that comes from my own accomplishments, not a drug. More and more people have decided they don't want drugs in their life. They've teamed up to say no to them. Win the race against drugs. Team up. Say no. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. Richard, can you imagine driving in a race car on drugs? No way, Darrell. But I can't imagine doing drugs anytime. Neither can I. I'm Bobby Hillen Jr., and I'm just like Richard and Darrell. We've all joined the team of folks who've decided to say no to drugs. Team, team up. up. Say, say no, no to drugs. drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Dave Winfield of the New York Yankees. Getting to first base in baseball means playing up to your potential every time you're at bat. Be a winner. Team up against drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. My name is Mike Tyson. I am a professional fighter. It takes guts to step inside of a ring, but it also takes a lot of courage to fight the fights that takes place in a day-to-day -day living. One of those fights has to do with drugs. Don't let them win a decision over you. Knock drugs out of your life by just saying no. More and more people are saying no every day. They are the real champs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I am Mike Tyson, a professional fighter. You can keep drugs out of your life and knock them out of society by saying no. Say no to drugs. My name is Mike Tyson. I am a professional fighter. Boxing is a lonely sport. The sparring, the training, and especially the road work gives me plenty of time to think. One of the things I think about most is how bad drugs are and how much they hurt people. Well, we can get rid of drugs if each of us, one by one, decide to say no. It's a small word with a big meaning. Say it. Say no to drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. You could argue all day and never reach a decision about which sport is tougher to play, baseball or basketball. But there is a decision that doesn't really require much of an argument, and that's the decision to say no to drugs. Many of the people in all walks of life are teaming up to do just that. You can join the team by saying no to drugs if drugs are offered to you. It's your decision. Make the right one. Team, team up. up. Say, say no to, to drugs. drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Dave Winfield. I'm Ralph Sampson. I'm Julia Serving, and we're all teaming up to... Say no to drugs. From the DEA FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Dave Winfield. I'm Ralph Sampson. I'm Julia Serving, and we're teaming up to... Say, say no to drugs. From the DEA FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Ralph Sampson of the Houston Rockets. And I'm Julia Serving of the Philadelphia 76ers. In the NBA, we play on different teams. But in the fight against drug abuse, we're on the same team. Saying no is a big decision. It's your decision. Say, Say no, no to drugs. drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Nancy Lieberman, a pro basketball player. Drug use can sideline the most talented of athletes and fans. Be a starting player. Team up against drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Greg Buttle of the National Football League. Knowing what to punt can help you win in football, but giving up on life and turning to drugs makes you a loser. Team up against drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Shep Messing of the New York Express. Scoring takes hard work and quick thinking. Don't let sluggish performance stop you short of your goals. Team up. Say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Jose Torres, and I know that it's not always easy to reach the right decision. But about drugs, there's only one decision, and that's to say no. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Jose Torres. I was once a world champion, and I know boxing is a tough sport. But compared to drugs, it's a piece of cake. In boxing, you have a chance to win or at least draw. With drugs, you are a loser from the opening bell. 
What can you do? Do what millions of people have done. Team up and say no to drugs. It's the right decision, the only smart one. Make it, team up, say no. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and this is my opponent, Sugar Ray Leonard. We're both professional fighters, but we've got more than that in common. A lot more. We're also parents who want our children, everyone's children. In fact, everyone, young and old, to decide that drugs don't belong in their lives. Millions of people have teamed up to do just that, to say no to drugs. Join, Join them. them. Team up. Say, say no. no. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Jack Lawn of the Drug Enforcement Administration. It's an honor to be with marvelous Marvin Hagler and with Sugar Ray Leonard, two champions in and out of the ring. They've teamed up with DEA and with millions of Americans to fight drug abuse. You can help us win that fight by saying no to drugs. The word no is a key to a knockout victory. Team, Team up, up, say no. no. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'd rather fight Marvelous Marvin Hagler 100 times than do drugs once. Drugs hurt, and they kill. Team up. Say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. If it takes guts to get into the ring, it takes a whole lot more guts to say no to drugs. Be smart. Team up. Say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Roger Staubach. I've played in a lot of games, but drugs aren't a game. They're what millions of people have teamed up to say no to. Join them. Say no. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Howard Richards. I'm Jim Jeffcoat. And I'm Bill Bates. We're all members of the Dallas Cowboys, but we're also on another team. It's a team made of people who decided to get drugs out of their lives. We want you to join that team by saying no to drugs. It's not a big word, but using it can mean an awful lot. It could save your life. Team up. Say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Herschel Walker, the Dallas Cowboys. Say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Mike Sherrard of the Dallas Cowboys. I'm asking you to make a smart move by saying no to drugs. Millions of Americans are doing just that. Team up, say no. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. I'm Tom Landry, head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Team up and say no to drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Danny White of the Dallas Cowboys. As a quarterback, I'm paid to make decisions on the football field all the time. Off the field, there are decisions to be made also. One of those decisions has to do with drugs, and millions of Americans have made it. They've decided to get drugs out of their lives. Join them. It's the right thing to do. The smart thing. Team up. Say no to drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Danny White and I've teamed up with millions of people who've decided to say no to drugs. We want you to join us. Team up. Say no. Drugs are a one-way street. They win, you lose. All the time, every time. Join the millions of people who've decided to say no to drugs. Say no. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Danny White, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Say no to drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. I'm Clint Corey, professional bareback rider. Team up. Say no to drugs. From the Drug Enforcement Administration, FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program in this station. Hi, I'm Clint Corey, professional bareback rider. I make my living in the rodeo. It's not easy. A bull or a bucking horse can really harm you not nearly as much as drugs can. They can wreck a life, a family, a future. They're not worth it. Millions of Americans know that. They've decided to keep drugs out of their lives. It's a wise decision, one you should make too. 
team up, say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station. Hi, I'm Dave Appleton, professional rodeo cowboy. From bull riding to bronc riding, there's always a chance of getting hurt in rodeo. But at least you've got your skills to help keep that from happening. If you do drugs, nothing can keep you from getting hurt. Maybe worse. Drugs are something millions of Americans have decided they have no time for. It's a great decision, one you should make for your family's sake, for your life's sake, for your future's sake. Team up, say no. Hi, I'm Charmaine James, world champion barrel racer. Say no to drugs. This message from the Drug Enforcement Administration and FBI Sports Drug Awareness Program and this station.